Well, good morning there, everybody. It is good to see you here on this uh, Wednesday. We're in the middle of the week. Yeah, it's October the 20... Uh, today's October 27th, isn't it already? Whoa! Time is flying, isn't it? Man, I'm going to share with you today from the Word Among Us. And on this, the uh, 27th of the month, uh, we're focusing on the book of Romans today. Okay, Romans chapter 8. Brothers and sisters... The Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of that Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. That is uh, Romans this morning. Wow, good news. What great good news, huh? The uh, God doesn't expect us to know how to pray. Well, you know, on our own, right? Uh, and he neither does he, he expects us to do do his will on our own because, you know, because we can't. Um, that's why he gave us what his Holy Spirit to to aid us in our weakness. How does the Spirit come to our aid? You may ask. Well, one of the clearest examples can be found in the Book of Acts. Uh, before the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, uh, they were afraid locked themselves in what the upper room wow uh, yes uh, they found they love the lord but they were also uh, hemmed in by their fears and their own insecurities but when the holy spirit filled them he gave them the courage the confidence and peace to go out and preach the gospel whatever the cost while we're not locked in a room like that we can all relate to feeling trapped by our own struggles or sin patterns, right? Yeah, like the first disciples, we also have the Holy Spirit living in us. And it's uh, especially when we are feeling weak that we should ask him to come and help us. Uh, the key, however, is to try to remain open to whatever the Spirit wants to accomplish in us. Two symbols for the Holy Spirit can help us understand how to open our hearts to the Spirit's work. Water and wind can do a lot on their own to create change. But they need to be able to move freely. And we need to place ourselves in their path if we want them to change us. Okay? Um, water flows freely unless we dam it up. Wind has power, but it has no effect on us if we you know, stay inside our homes. Just so, we can miss the power of the Spirit if we lock the doors of our hearts in fear or doubt. But if we trust in God, try to keep our hearts open, the Spirit will move freely uh, in us. That's the way it works. Being open to the Spirit. It's not a, a passive pursuit. It requires faith. First, that the Spirit will come to our aid. And second, that He can accomplish more than we can ask or imagine. Whoa. It's an act of faith that doesn't put limits on the Lord and his work in us. So today, take a few moments to ask the Lord, how can I yield more to the Holy Spirit when I'm feeling weak? Mm. Uh, and how can I let him move more freely in my life? Then open your heart to the Spirit and ask him in. Here you go. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here in my heart, in my mind, and in my life. That's that. Come Holy Spirit, work in me today, in my weakness. Come Holy Spirit, work in me today. Pray that. Have a great day, my friends. Pray for one another today. Pray for this world that we're in. Pray for this country of ours today. And know that God loves you and so do I.